All right, good morning. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is a computer science uh, CS350 uh, section 2 operating systems and this is a week number 6 and today is Thursday February 22nd and we are uh, meeting today um, uh, via Zoom uh, and so thanks for joining um, uh, the uh, Zoom uh, recording uh, from uh, section 1 uh, from 9.30 a.m. is already posted uh, on Blackboard. Okay. So uh, you could watch that and uh, and just kind of sit back and relax or you know you can I'm going to record this session or I am recording this session and this will be also posted uh, on Blackboard as well um, in section two. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you for uh, chats. All right. <clears throat> um, I I don't have. Uh, is it, does anybody have any uh, question and comments before we get started? It's all good. All right. Um, so. My only announcement today is, as I alluded to or mentioned on Tuesday, uh, my <clears throat> um, my <clears throat> uh, uh, Thursday situation. So we're meeting today. Uh, today uh, by Zoom, and then one more time next Tuesday, uh, 29th. Okay, but that's it. Uh, other uh, uh, next week Tuesday, uh, we'll be back on uh, uh, in person. Of course, that Thursday will be on Zoom, but uh, that should be the uh, you know pretty much all all the changes that I anticipate. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this too will be recording. Uh, it is recording, and will be posted on Blackboard for you. Uh, this uh, week's topic is synchronization, and so today uh, we'll be doing the lab demo. Uh, and next week uh, we have a uh, week number seven on deadlocks. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, I think I already mentioned this one, so that's all good. Okay, so let me minimize this here and bring up the the blackboard. Make it a little bit smaller so you can see the whole thing. Okay. So this is a different section. Uh, this is section two. Make it about 110. If you guys are not able to see this uh, clearly, then let me know. I can make it bigger. So as I sent out an email uh, announcement, you know, uh, shortly before the class started, I processed the, the morning uh, section one uh, lecture video on YouTube uh, and posted, but it's taken a long time uh, for them to uh, process. I don't know why. So I just uh, processed it on, uh, my, on my end and then um, I shared the link uh, from the OneDrive. So if you click on this guy here, OneDrive, you should be able to see uh, right away. Okay, so here it is. And that's from, as you can see, uh, from section one. But I'm not going to play this since we're doing this. Okay. Anyway, if you go to uh, week number six, um, here is the uh, Thursday uh, class video. Obviously, this is from uh, the section one, uh, but probably this is not going to work. So I think this is from the YouTube. Uh, it may work. I don't know. Yeah, this is not playing. So I'm going to have to change this later on. Okay, so maybe I'll do that right now. So, so um, Thursday uh, video recording will be posted uh, shortly. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of it since it's not working. Okay. So, 
to that, make it bold, and make it red so I can see it right away. All right, okay, here we go. Um, but if you click on the, um, here's a synchronization lab, so if you click on that, uh, this is what you get. one I think I already downloaded here so let me minimize this here so this is what you see and basically all I'm asking you to do is to uh, copy the code from uh, the blackboard uh, and uh, run the code and then just take a screenshot and that's it okay so this should be a very uh, short straightforward lab uh, I am gonna go over that a little bit um, uh, but that's basically what I'm asking you to do. So, uh, where do you go to get the la uh, the code? Just go to the blackboard. So I'm going to move this out, and then just go there. Okay. And then here is the the two codes that I posted here: uh, semaphore lab uh, code with explanation. Um, so, and then here's the uh, one that I used originally. They're the same code. One has a little bit more information. So. If you just click on the first one, it'll just pop up here, okay? And basically all you have to do is just copy this code, okay? Just copy that. And then uh, you can use any of the online uh, compiler. Um, so, you know, you can use, or any other uh, one's okay. So if you click on the first one, online GBD, You know, you'll come here, and you can just get rid of this guy here. Make sure that you choose the language of C, and then just get rid of all this, and then just paste it, and then just run. Okay, it should run fine. And basically, you're going to see the output here, and you just need to take a screenshot. Okay. Or, if you like, you can go to the other one. And I think the other one may be a little easier, depending on how you want to uh, look. But here's the tutorials point. Okay. It'll take you to another uh, online compiler. And so here you just basically get rid of this, paste it up, and then uh, just execute. Okay. And then you can see a uh, little time delayed uh, output of the, the program. And what's nice about this one is you can kind of see side by side you know, without having to scroll too much. Uh, and uh, so you, you, know, you may like this either way is okay. All you have to do is just take a screenshot, you know, uh, Screenshot here. New, you know, something like that. That shows the, uh, you know, uh, part of the code that you pasted, and then the output. Okay, and just copy this, and then just uh, paste that on uh, Microsoft Word, and then submit, and that's it. Okay. Now, um, let me pause uh, uh, here for a second. Is there any questions what, about what I showed so far? I'm going to talk about the code a little bit, but uh, you guys doing okay? Uh, any questions so far? All right, I take it as a uh, everything's okay. Uh, but let me go over the code a little bit uh, so that you kind of understand what you're doing. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I included some of the uh, description here. Um, and so uh, this is a synchronization lab uh, using a semaphore. A right? semaphore is uh, using a state or a variable uh, to control the um, uh, critical section. Right. So here is the outline of the program. Basically, all you're doing is you, uh, like a regular programming, uh, you include the header files, 
set the uh, global variables, and then you run the code, uh, but you have the functions uh, that acts as a threads. Okay, so that's kind of the outline. Um, here are the, so, you know, the first part is to include the header files. Uh, these are pretty typical, um, especially you should be familiar with Studio I I.O., uh, but w for this program, we're using uh, process threads uh, and then semaphores and the standard uh, data type setting. Uh, so these are pretty typical of the header files. Um, in C programming, you uh, declare the functions you're going to be using up front. And then so we just named it as a function one, a function two, or a fun one, fun two. And then you uh, set the global variables um, that's, that you're going to be using. And if you're not sure what it is, uh, people usually do this uh, at the end, but you want to set it up at the top. Um, we're going to uh, use an uh, integer variable. Uh, I think we use the word counter or count. In, on Tuesday lecture, but here we get, we're using shared. So this is a variable, uh, integer, and uh, we initialize it at, to one. Uh, whatever you want, you want it to say, but you know, one seems like a good, good number. And then we also are going to use a variable for the semaphore, and we're just going to uh, use, use the letter S. Okay? And then here's the, uh, the main function, um, and here's the uh, initialization of the semaphore. Uh, not going t into too much detail, but uh, we're just going to set it as a value of one. And then we declare the, uh, the threads as the data types, uh, because these are variables, right? And then we also need to create the thread one, uh, and then create the thread two. But not only are we creating the threads, but we are uh, linking it to the function that we uh, declared up here. So we're going to say the thread one is actually linked to uh, function one or fun one. And then we're going to uh, link uh, thread two as the uh, function two or fun two. And then we're going to let uh, use the join uh, function to um, let the thread one or the fun one finish. And same thing for the uh, thread two or fun two. And then we're just gonna end with the simple, you know, printing the value of semaphore s at the end. So that you know, did nothing much to it, uh, just kind of running that. So um, here uh, are the two, uh, the many functions that we declared in the beginning. And so here are the two um, uh, local variables, uh, x and y. And we could use, uh, you know, both x's here. It's not going to matter uh, much because, you know, the scope of this local variable is within this function. But we just are using different ones just to be you know, a different than stand out. And we're going to no notice the similarities uh, of the two uh, functions. They're pretty much the same. Uh, but whichever goes first, um, uh, you want to throw a, a wait state because as soon as this gets in, you want all the other ones to wait, right? In this case, we only have one other, which is a fun two. So, you know, only this gets affected. But if you have other uh, functions or threads or whatever, uh, they all have to wait, okay? Well, this one does go first because we called it first, right? So, uh, you know, th that's not really not a problem. But uh, we still want to do this because we want to make sure that the other uh, function waits, okay? And then uh, here we're just going to do a simple uh, assignment statement. Uh, shared the variable, as sh the, sh the value of shared is 1, and we're assigning to local variable x. Uh, why? Because we want to do some arithmetic here. Okay. And then so here we're just going to print the value of x and then it prints uh, 1, and which is like happening right here. Okay. And then uh, here is the critical section um, because we're uh, incrementing the value. Uh, whatever you know, um, arithmetic operation we're doing, it'll be our critical section. Uh, so, but you, you, won't, uh, you, you would be okay because we threw in uh, the wait uh, uh, state here for other uh, threads uh, functions to, to wait. Okay? We increment it, and so now the value of x is 2. And so if we just print it, you get to see that uh, the local updation uh, of thread 1 as 2. Okay? And then uh, we're going to sign back uh, to the shared uh, value, 
uh, you know, this is 2, so shared value is 2 now. So if you print that, uh, you get the shared value of 2. Right? Now, <clears throat> um, and, and then uh, oh, this portion here is kind of like idling here, uh, kind of uh, mimicking the preemption for other threats to possibly get in, right? But I don't think this is going to be totally necessary, but, you know, maybe good for good measure, right? So um, uh, now uh, we, we, we come over here, and uh, so you say this is done, and um, we initialize the, uh, the Y, and now this guy is throwing the weight, so this has to wait even if you want it to go, uh, and we uh, uh, copy the uh, shared uh, value uh, from uh, 2, uh, and so y is this uh, local variable here, and if you print that, uh, you get the um, the value of two. Now here is the critical section here uh, of arithmetic. In this case, just uh, uh, decrementing, and so now the y is decremented, right? So uh, if you print that, uh, you get the the uh, local updates of the value one. Now same thing here. We're just trying to you know, uh, delay or idle for one second and other things could try to go in, uh, but it doesn't really matter. And so if we assign back uh, the local variable back into the shared, the shared is now 1 because the y was 1, right? And if you print that, uh, you get this uh, value of 1, okay? And then you finish the sense I'm done, and if you go back here to uh, print the actual value of the shared, the value of shared is is one because we updated to uh, here assigned it back to the shared value. Okay, so this, that's how you know you get all these outputs here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the value can be uh, kept uh, clean and unaltered uh, by using the semaphore uh, variable, uh, you know, wait and uh, available or the post. And so you can, you know, this is a simple example to demo that. Uh, any questions so far? If you say, well, I didn't understand any of that, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not good at programming or whatever, you know, you could uh, actually try, uh, you know, we'll do more examples like this in the future and, you know, uh, we'll get into the codes. But if you uh, want to, uh, you know, in the meantime, get some help, or you can, you know, just go to, you know, uh, say open uh, uh, AI, and then just get their help. You know, go there. So log in. I don't know if it. Did I log in? Maybe not. All right. So here we go. So you can say, you know, um, uh, explain to me the following code in C, right? And then if you type yes, and they'll say, yeah, okay, okay, do that, give me the code, right? So all you have to do is to just copy this code here and paste it on your favorite, you know, uh, AI uh, code explainer, and you say just click go, and then it just starts spitting out. So here you can see that it's breaking by small blocks and telling you what that is doing, okay? So it's already going through uh, the uh, headers here, uh, the function declarations, global variables about the main functions, and then uh, fun one function and fun two function, and gives you a little uh, ex you know uh, recap at the end. But if you say yeah, I still don't understand, you can say uh, explain to me in more detail, a line by line. Then let's see what this guy does. Okay, so here it, it, it does a little bit more. I, you know, not too much on that one, but. Uh, it gives you sort of a line-by-line -line explanation. So you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go over the codes too much other than what I already said, right? So you can use this or any other uh, AI help to uh, get that one, uh, you know, get some more uh, details on them. So hopefully that's a good uh, tool for you. And uh, that's pretty much it, okay? So let's uh, kind of look back here. And so, uh, like I said, you know, you just need to take a screenshot and, and submit that. Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, just kind of recapping here. We met uh, via Zoom today. 
Um, next Tuesday, uh, we'll be back on campus in person as usual. Uh, this recording will be uh, processed and posted on the appropriate section. And uh, we went over the synchronization lab. Next week is the, uh, uh, week seven on deadlock. So uh, let's take a quick look at that. So here is the, if we can get there. Hello. Uh, so this is section one. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what that is. If we go to section two. And here's week number seven. Uh, so here's the deadline. I may update the worksheet and maybe add the lab, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll post the, um, the lecture video that we're just recording here. Uh, here somewhere afterwards, okay? All right, sounds good. Um, if there is no uh, uh, further questions, I will stop the recording, and um, that's it for today. So have a good uh, rest of the day and a weekend. I will see you on Tuesday.